Hello, I'm Gary Mercer. I'm Vice President of Engineering for GE Aviation. Edison program, we've been at it since 1942. We bring in the best talent we can attract and give them a strong foundation to build upon throughout the rest of their careers, developing the best products in the aviation business. Come join us. The Edison Engineering Development Program is a three-year rotational program for incoming engineers at GE. While on program, you'll rotate through three different jobs all within the engineering division. You can be working on the hardware that we put on the engines, you can be analyzing the data from the test cells, or you can be creating the digital tools that our engineers use on a day-to-day -day basis. While on program, you'll also go through technical and leadership training. You'll also be earning your master's fully funded and paid for by GE. You'll also gain a sense of community among your fellow Edisons, and you'll make friendships and memories that will last a lifetime. In fact, let's hear from some of them now. Military, aero, and thermal technologies. Digital configuration data engineer. Materials application engineer. Test systems engineering, clearanceometers. I work on the clearanceometers team, so we design and build test equipment that goes on the engine to let us know what the clearances are between the blades and the surrounding case. I'm here at our flying test bed facility making sure that our clearanceometer instrumentation is ready to go for flight tests for one of our engines. CMC nozzle design. Additive manufacturing engineer for the leak fuel nozzle. Materials behavior and modeling engineer. TFTJ mechanical systems. Military mission based team. My role is titled as services shop analytics engineer. So basically what I do is I work with our overhaul shops to do some forecasting analytics to predict how we can better use the data we have today to make decisions in the future. The Edison program has so much to offer. So personally, I didn't know what I wanted to do when I left college but this gave me an opportunity to explore three different roles as well as get a master's in engineering. So it kind of gave me an opportunity to learn more about what I wanted to do as well as furthering my education. So it was the perfect combination for me. Augmenter design engineer. Military propulsion and power engineering. Transient performance. Engine test enabling hardware. Additive Fastworks Design Engineer. Right now what I'm working on is applying new additive technologies as well as new technologies in general to our jet engines. So looking at advanced concepts for jet engines, what the future of flight really looks like, and how we can apply new technology into our already existing engine programs and upgrade them to be even better than before. Additive breakout technology. Test systems engineering, telemetry, and slip ring. Digital League 2.0 engineering focal. Compressor rotor design. GNX compressor hardware owner. My current role as a fluids controls engineer is extremely diversified. I get to design components, I get to test in the lab, I'm working with people in manufacturing, I'm working with the customer very closely, I do site visitations to suppliers, uh, I get to touch almost every single part of the supply chain and how an engine is built, right from design all the way up until flight. The technical training you get is really hands-on and really applies to your day-to-day -day job, while the classroom training you get dives deeper into the fundamentals and really broadens your base of engineering knowledge. The Edison program is more about just a job. It's more than just the learning that you get. It's about the experience too. So the people you meet are great. The friendships you make are going to last a lifetime. So the Edison program to me is worthwhile. Leadership. Diverse. Introspective. Challenging. Rewarding. Technical growth. A journey. 